and welcome back to The Expanse. This is going to be episode 7 of season 1 entitled Windmills. Uh, Holden and his crew has gotten a lot of coverage, a lot of story driven episodes, the last couple ones since their escape from the Mars ship. They're due up for some action because last episode it was just them and, and Fred Johnson talking and they worked out an arrangement and now they're off. Detective Miller was almost killed last episode. Uh, I'm kind of more interested to see what he does now. Uh, and I wonder if he's ever going to connect the dots with, with, with Holden and his crew. Because we're seeing these two different storylines that are kind of parallel to each other. Uh, enough talking, let's get into it. Here we go. I wonder now if he's, that he's fired, if he's going to like join the Belcher's Calls and the OPA. Look, there's that asshole chanting again. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, they spray painted over it's everything. All over I get it now. Mars went ballistic when a Belter attacked the Scipio Africanus. So now they're patrolling every shipping lane between here and Eros. And we are driving a stolen Martian frigate. Are we broadcasting? What are you talking about? No one's broadcasting anything. Yeah, we are. He's right. I don't know who to trust. Surprise, motherfucker. A farming collective. Uh, it said Holden was a genetic mix of like six or eight people or something. What? Just checking in, ma'am. She wants to be totally off the grid and not tracked. Or no, no. Ellis Holden. I'm Christian of Osarala, UN Deputy Undersecretary. Holden. This about Jimmy? He's been with us since Tycho. A spy for our friend, Fred Johnson. Hey, I take a fast enough. Shut up! Oh, Fred spy on us. He knows more than we do. Have any idea what he was transmitting? No. Now, I don't want to get picked up by any Mickey patrol, and I know you guys don't want that either. What do you know about us? It's none of my business, okay? None of my business where you guys are flying around in a stolen Martian attack ship. You have no idea what you're talking about. Like I said, it's none of my business. Huh? I don't care. Next up on the scene. What? <laughs> That Jesse yo. The door yo. Can we stop with the bullshit now? Damn. Oh, I had a little left about how charming your home is. The water hauler the Martians destroyed. And the battleship they lost. Oh shit. You think he was involved? Huh. I like living near the land. Doesn't make me stupid. Kicked out of the Navy, he fell in with a radical French group in the belt because it reminded him of home. Oh, shit. I can make this up, too. I need to understand your son. Rocinante, we are going to need your flight plan and lading. Please transmit them now. Oh, hell, we're, um, we're just hauling some helium down to Eros. Uh, listen, if this is about that radio thing, our comms are all messed up. Uh, Please transmit your flight plan and lading, Rocinante. Roger that. Worried about what's gonna happen when they board you? Because they will board you. If that happens, you won't be around, Sid. You think I won't face you? Oh, I'm pretty sure you will. Don't change anything, though. It'll make me feel better. <laughs> so he just broke into Julie's place? I guess now because this shit doesn't work. Miller, you asshole. Long time. How they swinging? So listen, that ship you're looking for, Anubis, whatever, never showed up here. But the funny thing is, a short-range shuttle from that ship did. Anubis 1A is still here on Eros, racking up dock fees. Kind of interested to know what's in it for you, amigo. Hey, listen, I gotta go. But watch your shoot. Your things are funny these days on series. Catch you. The property line is that way. I would tell you if I could. You will now leave. And if you come back without a warrant... Fine. I have intelligence that says your son survived the Donager. You put all your hopes on your son. I pressured mine to join the Marines, or I wouldn't pay for his education. So he did what was expected. 
That's why he was in Callisto during the insurrection. Dad took his life. It's all that nutty talk before, that was just like warfare, right? Hold on. Yep. Still gotta pee if anyone's interested. All right, you're flying around in a Martian frigate with a bunch of junk welded to it. Congrats. But it's not gonna fool that escape once they get on board and see all this. That wasn't useful. That's bloody obvious. This is a game. This is a game of pretend. And you guys are pretending to be the wrong thing. Pretend the to Mickeys be Martians. have been known to disguise their attached ships when they're doing covert ops. They use a special set of codes that tell other Martian ships that they are out there, they are doing the nasty, and to get lost. How do you know all this? I'm a good spy. We ran across this unflagged tanker acting kind of suspect in, in a pirate zone, so we prepared to engage. But when my captain hailed them, they just jabbered on and on, ending with the phrase, donkey balls. And? And just like that, my captain ordered me to change my course. We parted our ways. None of the officers said anything about it, but everyone on the crew was absolutely certain it was black ops stuff. That's because it probably was. Listen to me. You guys give that skiff the proper set of codes, and they have to back off. Twenty-four digit security code. Oh, my stick. Is he fucking robbing her? Me out, pal. See the sights. What sights? Miller, Eros is a garbage dump. If this thing is as big as you think it is, you're gonna need someone to watch your back. A partner. Yeah. Okay, better do this one alone. You were alone in that airlock. True. Dobby. Okay, come with me. The day before his 18th birthday, I took him out to mend a fence, and I told him to get as far away from this place as he could. And that if he didn't go, then I would, because I couldn't stand to watch what we were doing to him anymore. Better get this fucking code book quick. I'm gonna go prep for plan B. What's plan B? To get down to that airlock and make sure nobody boards us. Alex, hold him off as long as you can. So yeah, knows better get on the drill. Hey, let's get something straight. Any Martians come through that airlock, we subdue and take them prisoner. Nobody's dying. So they'll have a chance to paint your mothership? <laughs> that ain't my plan. Do you know how many Martians died getting us off the Donager? Ship that size? A few hundred? And now you're gearing up to kill a few more like it was nothing. Because they are the enemy right now. And we're the fugitives. And as far as they're concerned, we're the ones who blew up the Donager. Man. I will take you down. Damn. Before I let you take them down. You got a clean shot, back of the head. Take it if you need it. You don't think I'll do it? There's only one way to find out. All right, then, boys, get ready to dance. I'm sorry to be such a pain, boys, um, but, uh... Our power problems, they've been so, uh... Ubiquitous and mendacious and polyglottal. <laughs> like a couple of donkey balls. Computer's gonna be like, beep boop. Code words accepted. Received and understood, Rasinante. You get those comms checked out when you hit port. You got it. Fellas, and, uh, hey, you boys be careful out there, here. Yeah? You too, Rocinante. Safe travels. Dang. The dude, the dude had good intel. They're stowaway. Your corporate spy's been compromised. He's missed his last two calm windows. His final report said that Holden was heading for Eros in a converted MCRN gunship with fake transponder code supplied by Fred Johnson. So, your analysis of his character notwithstanding, I've activated a black ops team. We're taking Holden off the board. 
taking him off the board Dang. for a series of circumstances we don't even understand. We're beyond circumstantial here, Christian, and we can't afford to wait for the next disaster in Holden's wake. Things are fragile enough out there right now. Why not snatch him up? Why kill him? He's done. Field trip's over. The last known residence of Lionel Polanski is a charted belt asteroid. So what do you say when we get to Eros? Cut, or wherever cut, it is you're going. We shake hands and forget all this ever happened. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Oh. Holden and company, uh, they're on their mate, er, their Mars, their Mars ship, disguised as a freighter. They were about to be boarded. They hit them with the secret code. That got them by. Uh, and they're en route to uh, Ares, I think they said. The guy on board, their stowaway, wants to be cut loose, but uh, as Holden said, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So he's still a prisoner. He's still you know, under lockup. We found out that his mother was the one who pushed for him to leave Earth and to you know see the systems and get out and get away from you know Colorado or Montana, wherever it is that 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 place was, that farm. Uh, detective friend is taking his shit elsewhere. Again, these storylines, they, they need to meet up, like, directly. Not not just indirectly, like, knowing of each other. They need to fucking be in the same room and talking, but... Anyway, that's gonna do it for this one. Enough rambling for me for now. I, uh, thank you all for being here and spending your time. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.